Hello fellas, welcome back to a brand new video. I've came to meet Sean. Now I first found Sean's car on Instagram and it's totally unique and I, abs I absolutely love this car. Mate, you were just telling us as well, before, just as I got out of the car, this, stand, this car stands you next to nothing, does it? Between two and two and a half grand. Two, two and a half grand and it's a Pinto Turbo. Yeah, that's for everything, yeah. everything you see on the car. As Carbon fibre spoilers everything. on the back, everything. Everything. So it was a totally standard look when you got it? 100% standard, two litre gear, manual, aircon, really rare car, rare colour, and I abused it. Mate, I absolutely <laughs> love this car. So you've got like a Sapphire Cosmos style front bumper. It's fiberglass. The bumper is? Yeah, yeah. And you've got a 500 style splitter. Yep. Got the, the grills, obviously the fog lights taken out there. Yep. The airflow. Yeah, will be. I've got an oil right. cooler ready to go in it. Mate, it is mint, honestly, I love it. I love it. Can we pop the bonnet and yeah. show people the party piece? Haha, <laughs> mint. Mate, if I seen this at a show, I would spend more time looking at this than any cosy. There's a load of details on it. A load of details. Like the, the turbo, I give 80 quid for the turbo. You give 80 quid for the turbo? Brand new, brand new turbo. GC 2871 RS, made of Chinesium. Chinesium. It's on standard management, everything's totally standard apart from the broken throttle position switch. Manifold I want an eBay for 128 quid, as is, so it's a T28 flange turbo. This is all Escort Cosworth. What, the alternator in that? Everything. All the pulleys are, the crank pulley, let me see, that's a Ali crank pulley as well. Mm -hmm. They're all just eBay specials. Escort, Cogo, Escort Cosworth charge cooler, mm -hmm. that um, I'm just waiting to use one of the grills down the bottom to sort it out. Everything's Cosworth, everything. Just to try and make it all fit. Cosworth Scorpion exhaust from the 90s. Just so it sounds. Did it fit straight on as well? Um, did I you have change, to modify it? Change the angle a bit there. Right. It still catches just a bit. You can probably see it caught on there. And you bit servo. It just rubbed through a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, brand new set of plug leads. Other than that, it's a totally standard engine. For people that don't know as well, a Pinto, a Pinto engine, which is what this is, is mm -hmm. basically the same as a Cosworth engine. Just the Cosworth engine got a 16 valve head. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you, you did mention to me you, you're debating maybe he's putting a Cosworth engine in. I'm going to make a 16 valve Pinto, so it's right. not going to be a complete YB because it'll never be a Cosworth, so no. I, don't, I don't want it to be. But it'll have a 16 valve head, big turbo, big cams, um, steel crank, um, ah. arrow off on and crank probably, and uh, lots of revs, hopefully. Ah, class. Class. Mate, it's mint. So do you know what kind of power it's mating? More than 120. More than 120. <laughs> Have you ever dyno or anything like that, obviously? No, nope, I think you'll be surprised. Right. So, it Do goes... it's over 200? I would probably say so. Right. If I had to guess, I would say so. It's got... It's the torque. It's right. got so much torque with it being on standard management and loads of ignition. It is really, really good. Right. And I'd like you to give me your opinion. Right, I will do, right? From... What's yours? Stage 1? Well, he's three door, he's three door stage one. So I'd like to have an opinion from that to this. You can right. feel it tail off at the top end, uh -huh. but it's only running like eight pound of boost. Right. So, but it's Mint. good. It's good. Mint. It puts a smile on your face. I bet. It puts a smile <laughs> on your face just sitting there. So what, you're on like corny? Corny? Uh, Spax adjustables. Spax, are they? So they're on the harder setting at the minute, so right. I hope you've got a sports bra. <laughs> um, yeah, old poly bush at the front end. Looks like you've got an aftermarket fan loom there. Yeah, so that's again Cosworth radiator, Cosworth fans. Um, we've got a fan loom um, from the chap on eBay, I can't remember his name, they're about 60 quid. But, yeah, um, mint. Love mint. it, that's Cosworth, everything's Cosworth. Uh, that's it's a four wheel drive uh, sapphire uh, thing, isn't it? Head of tank. tank pipe. I've got one in my shed. Aye, uh, mint. Can we have a look inside? You can do anything you want, Adam. So there. Uh, late spec 4x4 dark cloth Recaros. Nice seats there, mind. I they, do like cloth. They Recaros. came from Birmingham and they were £154. For just so the two front seats? I won them on the Saturday night and on drove eBay. down to Birmingham, or up to Birmingham, um, the following day at 5 o'clock in the morning because the geezer was getting so many messages because he didn't know what they were. They were out of a kick on. Oh, right. A 2000E CR meal. A what, sorry? A 2000E. Sapphire right. 2000E. So it looks like a cosy one, but they're grey. But slightly grey. Um, it's getting a bit worn now, that's off the stop lock, the disc lock. Right. So if you've got one, make sure you get a cover for it, because it'll rip all the thing off like it doesn't last. Inside what we've got, we've got gauges, so it's got a boost gauge. That's the only one that works, the other two don't work. <laughs> Just in there for looks for now, Mate. until um, the rest of the engine Mate, goes together. I love this car, I love it. 
and you, you were saying you avoided putting the side skirt on just to make just to not make it'll, it a Cosworth. It'll never be a Cosworth. I don't want to make Cosworth rep. That's why I didn't paint a spoiler and I haven't painted the back bumper. And the front bumper is just satin black. I'll just rattle can this just because. You were just rattle, rattle can in the, the <laughs> bumper as well when I pulled up, the weren't splitter. you? The splitter, sorry. It picked up quite a few stone chips, so today, quite oddly enough, the southerners have had a lot of downpour, like it was torrential, the white couldn't keep up, it was that bad. And uh, I thought you were going to call it off, like I was saying. I got out in the front of the car, it was just peppered. <laughs> So I had to just top the paint up a little bit. <laughs> have a look at the back. Let's have a look at the back. You were saying you bought this spoiler as well. This, the lad didn't really know what he had. Did uh, it? It no, it came Orion. up with a Ryan, I think. Um, well, that is a sapphire. Split. And it's a sapphire carbon sapphire. fiber boot spoiler. I mean, Cosmo style. It weighs nothing. I bet. I bet. It's absolutely totally lightweight. I like your uh, tow bar as well. Functional. Do That's you use it? Well, I used to have a garage, I lost my garage, but I used to reverse it in the garage and stop when it hit the wall. <laughs> Just dump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, nice. um, I like the exhaust as well, nice and sooty. And yeah, well, as I was saying, that's a 90s Scorpion full exhaust from front to back. Again, I paid next to nothing for them, it was like 80 quid. Mint, um, this car is mint. And it sounds mint. The, the only reason I turboed the car was for the noise. Uh -huh. And just to make it a bit more modernised, like I did with the auxiliary belt pulley setup and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So what kind of fuel pump are you running? Have you got a Cosworth fuel pump? It's totally that? standard. It's standard? With it being an, uh, a lake gear, yeah, it's on a cradle like a Cosworth one is and stuff. Right. So the car's sort of like, physically, where everything is, is identical to a Cosworth. Uh -huh. Which is one of the reasons why you know, I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'll put a, I'll probably put an 044 pump under it, and a set of 1000cc injectors when I go together. So what words have you got on of these? They are uh, another bargain basement. They're 80 pounds worth of ST170 wheels. Oh, all right, is that what they are? Forks ST170 uh, wheels? Yeah. Sense of car. So I want them anthracite. They're minging at the minute, uh -huh. like I say, the rain was terrible. But I'm going to get them refurbs in anthracite, just uh -huh. so they look a bit better. Just to smarten um, it up a bit. And probably put some little bits of centre uh -huh. cap in or something. But uh, yeah, obviously Mate. I do, do spend money where it's needed. And it's got a pair of brand new hand on the back. Uh -huh. To stop it lighting the wheels up. I mean, <laughs> honestly, if I owned this car, I wouldn't touch a thing. Nah. I, I wouldn't gonna, touch a thing. I was debating whether or not to do a full reshell on it, a full bare metal paint on it, get uh -huh. it dips, and get it done crystal blue. I had a crystal blue car years ago, and uh, it was one of my favourite ones, mm -hmm. but it was rotten, it was knackered. Was it? And I know the car is still out and about now, so I don't know what <laughs> happened with it. <laughs> Patched up? Uh, well, I'll, I'll leave that there. <laughs> can we go for driving it? Of course you can. <laughs> whenever you're ready, mate, whenever you're ready. Quite quiet now, you mind. It sounds like a like a standard. It doesn't sound like a Cosworth. It sounded like a Cosworth when you started it, and from the outside, but once I'm inside, it just sounds kind of like it, a it's like a, normal Sierra. You're a popping banging. Aye. Right. So you were saying you're going to put the 16 valve head on? Yep. Have you got the head there? I've got everything. Um, and it goes straight onto this block one at the yep. uh, got black hands. The uh, Cosworth head will pull straight onto this point, pin or block. Yep. So what, guys, what gearbox box are you on? Type 9. Type 9. Large speed. With a. Are you thinking of going to a T5 Cosworth gearbox? box? Are you. No. See how this goes? No. No? Too much money. They are expensive, mind, aren't they? Fortune. For what they are, and you're, you're buying other people's tat as well. So it's not. Uh, I don't know what I'll do to be honest. I probably I want to do an MT75 with a big tooth box in it. Joe, you know it is my Cosworth two wheel drive is Sapphire, and I'm so tempted for some reason to go four wheel drive. So it's literally like a lot of mainly where it's bolt on parts, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you've got to do the floor on the bottom there, and obviously you've got to change all the suspension, all the cradle, and everything. That's all different. Engine mounts are all different. Um, sumps different. Uh -huh. Uh, front hubs obviously, it's just getting bits because uh -huh. they're what, like 30 odd year old now, aren't they? I know. This is, I think this is like 34 years old. Four wheel drive parts seem a lot cheaper than two wheel drive parts though, for some reason. But I like the idea of a four wheel drive. It's because they're shared. So you get an XR 4x4 and the majority of the bits will fit. It's not identical, but it will fit. Uh -huh. um, fit and work. Yeah. It's all that matters, isn't it? Well, XR 4x4s are a little bit wider. Back in the days when I used to buy them for like 100 quid, 
put a set of Cosby wheels on it, and the driver's front one to catch. Oh, right. Because it was wide on the Cosworth. Right. Just the driver's front. Right. It's funny how they've got the little quirks of Sierras. Right. Like, when you put coilovers on them, it always seems to be the back passenger side, the coilover oh, catch on the inner. And then the, the twang on the inside of them, didn't you, driver? Oh, I squeak it. No, this is a cool car, this mate. It just it just drives as is. It's good. It's nice. It's nice inside. It's only, it's only just clicked out at the 47,000 mile, and it is original. Genuine. I've got all the old MOTs. Have I've you got, really? I've got the original V5 for the car. Should we spin around here? Aye. got the original V5 for the car. Um, the car changed hands in 2001 for the first time, and then the next two people that have it were in the same family. So, uh, Aye, class. Nice, nice original car until I got it. <laughs> Seats are comfy and nice as well, mind. My, my sapphire's got the uh, leather in, and I would love some nice cloth seats for it. Can't stand, can't stand leather. I'm not a fan of leather, mind. Oh. So how long's it been running the turbo setup? Probably about a year. Yeah. Reliably as well. How many miles have you done with it? That is a turbo. Thousand, I think. A couple of thousand. Yeah, I, 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 it was a daily, and I would go from Essex to Norfolk in it every two weeks as well. His parents live in Norfolk now, so yeah. we'd just, uh, I'd just go between, and I would use it as much as possible anywhere that just getting it and drive it. Mate, this is perfectly comfortable sat here. Perfectly comfortable car. The only thing is with me, I want to put an adjustable column in because uh, obviously the, the eagle-eyed among us would notice that I'm the shorter of the two, <laughs> and my legs are the short bit. Not my body. So <laughs> my body's fine, yeah. So on a long run, I'll click it back further than what this is. But this is should be all right. I might have to move it a bit more to put it into sports mode. <laughs> <laughs> but no, other than that, I, I can't fault it. I've got nah. a Bluetooth radio in it. Have you? I want an original one, but again, the the battery money. I know. You're better off with like a, like something like that, like Sony Bluetooth, so you can play your phone and that through, listen to podcasts and your music. Well, there's no turbo front or dump valve at all, is there? No. Um, it's because it's got that big daft airflow meter on there. Right. And the inlet's only probably about that big on the on the front of it. It's not running a lot of boost either. You can probably tell me whether what it's running. What boost is it running? I don't know. Eight pounder boost or something. What's that PSI? Eight. Oh, is it? <laughs> and there we go. I was just shooting, I'll edit that bit out. I'm not going to put those. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's, that is a PSI boost gauge. Right. Ah, eight pounds, eight pounds per square inch. There we go. That's something you're every day, don't you? The thing is, so we'll just let the turbo spool up a bit. Give it a... What's this third gear? That's probably a pay tie there, isn't it? Big up nine. <laughs> That's all right, doesn't it? That's all right, right, doesn't it? So I'll be honest, is. it doesn't feel as quick as my... Stage yeah. 1 Sierra. Because you can feel it tailing off at the top end. Uh -huh. But mid range torque. Is that where it's at? Yeah. Nice dry, nice daily, nice amount of torque for like yeah. a daily driver. Yeah, this is a mid car, this. But it's so fun, but they're having so much torque. Obviously, the reason the clutch is not, it's just sending all the time. You ever think it's solid? Nope. Never mind. I but. did. I did. If, if this was a standard car now, I think it would probably fetch five. Uh -huh. Probably, aye. Right. The way the Sierras are going. And I think the way it is, I don't know, eight? Eight the way it is? Uh, I would say uh, something like that. I, just well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't sell this like if I was doing no. like. Too cool. Mate, I've got an absolute obsession with cars at the minute. I was looking at cars last night. I was, I've got a two car garage. And I'm looking at cars to buy and I've got nowhere to put a car. I'm like, oh, I fancy something new. I was looking at uh, BM E36s. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, oh, I'll get a cabbie for the summer. That's like soft on me in the bend, going yeah. driving about in it. Put some nice wheels on it. Yeah, it's easy done as well, isn't it? Ah, you pick them up for pretty cheap as well. <laughs> the floor mat was stuck under the pedal. Was it? <laughs> I would guess That's it's sweet. about 190 ish yeah. horsepower. Like, it's not fast. Which is cool. Yeah. 
Cool. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to set the world on fire, no. but it certainly modernised this and just made it a bit more drivable. User friendly. Yes. And that's all I was bothered about. And the, the, just the sound. Aye. Mate, I would, I would love this car. Mate, thanks a lot for doing this no, video. Thank thanks for making it up. Um, Pleasure. If you want to see more of Sean's car, I'll leave a link to his Instagram below. See, see the processes you put the, yeah. the 16 valve head on. Aye. But mate, yeah, again, thanks for making up. And what an absolute mint car. Honestly, thank mate, you. I love it. Made my day. Aye, cheers. <laughs> thanks for watching, fellas, and I'll catch you on the next one. Spot on, mate. Lovely.